Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 7th of 2021. Well, it is titled flight through the Orion Nebula in infrared light. So what do we see here? Well, in the past, we've seen many pictures of the Orion Nebula, a great star forming region, about 1500 light years away from us. And what we're going to see in this video is a, a clip put together based on a lot of infrared observations, infrared because they allow us to see through the dust and get a better view into the Orion Nebula. So what we'll see is the, a flight through this region and trying to see it in a three dimensional type view. Now you have to think that this flight would take a long, long time. First of all, not only just getting to the Orion Nebula, but the size of the Orion Nebula itself would take a long time. Even if you could travel at close to the speed of light, it would take 1500 years to get to the Orion Nebula, and it would take many years to travel through it. So the flight that we're seeing would take a very, very long time. But let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we can learn of the Orion Nebula. And as we play the video, we will see the uh, we'll start off with the Orion Nebula from a distance here that we see. And then as we continue, we will start to zoom in on it a little bit more. And you'll note that there's a dense cluster of stars together. And as we're zooming towards that, we're actually first heading into kind of a valley within the gas and dust that make up the Orion Nebula. And you'll see that we enter that valley and sort of towards the center of it off in the distance there, we see a cluster of stars, the four bright stars of the trapezium star cluster. And those are the central stars, but all of the stars are part of this cluster. And then as we zoom in towards that closer to see the stars, we're seeing the central regions of this newly forming star cluster relatively young, because those trapezium stars will not live a very long time. They're very massive blue stars, and they only live a few tens millions of years or so. And after that, they'll be gone. And then afterwards, we travel out past and you can notice that the stellar density drops down as we're heading out into the outskirts of the star cluster. And as we continue traveling through the Orion Nebula, you can see uh, much gas and dust scattered around it as we continue our voyage. So as we work through seeing Orion from a different perspective than we're able to ever see it from here on Earth. Then as we approach towards the end, you'll see we're kind of lifting up out of the Orion Nebula and looking back down on what we've just passed through. And as we see it there, we'll turn a little bit and we'll come back and we'll see our cluster again from the other side. So having been able to get detailed measurements and detailed maps of this allows us to put together videos like this to give us the impression of what it might be like to fly through a star forming region like the Orion Nebula. So it's a better way to help us to be able to understand these types of objects and learn more about them. So that was our picture of the day for July the 7th of 2021. It was titled flight through the Orion Nebula in infrared light. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.